Morning, everyone. I just wanted to share some encouragement this morning uh, from the book of Psalms. Psalm 25 says, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you have I hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your lo compassion and love, for they are of, from everlasting. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and brought very low. The sorrows of my heart have increased. O oh, bring me out of my distress. Look upon my adversity and misery and forgive me all my sin. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver us, O oh Lord, out of all our troubles. It's amazing how relevant uh, the Psalms are to us today. Those, those words were written 3,000 years ago, and yet they speak into our situation today. So I want to encourage you. Uh, in the midst of all this uh, panic and um, uh, confusion and fear, to be rooted in uh, God's word. Begin your day with looking at the Bible or daily prayer apps or whatever, rather than first on Facebook or first on the, the news. Read the news, read Facebook in the light of the ever-living truth of Scripture. If we do that, I believe that God will speak to us and God will encourage us. Another psalm of today promises that our Lord is great and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor but casts the wicked down to the ground. And it encourages us, it encourages us to sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre, who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Those are words from the morning prayer psalm today, Psalm 147. What encouragement that God delights in those who put their trust in his steadfast love. We can trust in our Lord. His love is steadfast. So cry out to him, call out to him, for all our hope is in him alone.